Let's work on the lesson count by a specific number. It says count forward by threes. So we start at 43 and we're going to count forward by threes. So we're going to add three to this number. Sometimes it helps to draw three dots to help us count on. 43, 44, 45, 46. Let's draw three more. Now 46 plus 3 is 47, 48, 49. 49 plus 3 is 49, 50. 51, 52. 52 plus 3 is 53, 54, 55. So this is how we count forwards by 3. 43, 46, 49, 52, 55. Great job. Now they would like for us to count forward by tens. Well, I could draw 10 dots for each one of these and count them, but that seems like a lot. I do notice that when I add 10, my tens place will go up by one digit. Right now I have 17, which is one 10 and seven ones. If I add another 10, I will have two tens and seven ones. And if I add another 10, I will have three tens and seven ones. I am not adding any ones, so my ones place does not change. So 47, 57. So counting forwards by tens, it goes 17, 27, 37, 47, 57. Next we have count forwards by fours. One, two, three, four. Well, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great, I could draw four dots on top of this one or I could just keep using these dots because I know every time I'm just going to add four so I will just use these to help me count. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Great, so counting on by fours, it goes 5, 9, 13, 17, 21. Now they would like us to count forwards by fours. So again, I will just draw my four dots. One, two, three, four, and I will use those to help me count forward. So I have 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And then I have 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. And then I say, okay, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. I have my 55 and then 56, 57, 58, 59. Great, so it goes 43, 47, 51, 55, 59. Next we have count forwards by threes. So I have five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. This one goes five, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen. Now they would like us to count forwards by tens. Do you remember the trick for this? Yes, our tens place just goes up one digit every time. So we have 32. Our ones place does not change, but our tens place will go up by one. So then it is 42, 52. Notice how it goes from three to four to five because each time we're just adding a 10. Now it will be 62 and then 72.
Let's count forward by threes. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23. Now it says choose the best answer. Well, it goes from seven to nine to 11 to 13, and then there's a missing number. Let's see if we can find a pattern. Well, if this was going up by one, the next number would be eight, which it is not, but the next number is nine. So that looks like two more than seven. Let's try that, seven plus two. If we were to add on two every time, it would be seven, eight, nine, yep, then 10, 11, Yep, 12, 13, yep, 14, 15. So our missing number is 15 because we are going up by two. We are adding two every time. So there is our answer. Now it says choose the best answer. Well, I see that it's going from 15 to 25 to 35 to 45. Look at our tens place. It's just going up by one digit every time and the ones place is staying the same. That tells me we're adding tens. So we're adding one ten every time. So if this number is going up by one every time, then what would this next number be? Yeah, a five and a five, because there will be five tens in this one and still five ones. So 55, our answer is right here. All right, here is 47. 57, 67, 77. Do you see it here as well? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight tens. How many ones in all of these? Yeah, seven. So we are just going up by 10 and the next one is 87. Great work, my friends.